Yes, ma'am. Stand up and be real loud, because it'd be hard for everybody to hear. Yes, ma'am. Good question. And let me let me say to you, the dog park that we do have at Freedom Park, it's it, it it's used heavily. It 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 really is. It's a nice park. Um, right now, currently, in our plan, do we have a dog park? No. But you remember when I said earlier the comprehensive system wide parks and recreation master plan? That is a great time to come out as the community and say, look. These are some of the things that we, we think we may need because, you know, there are a lot of places in that area that, that are, whether it's um, condominium or apartment living, that there's just, that have animals that, that really don't have a place to take, take the animals. And, and I will tell you, dog parks is, you know, a, a trend that is going on nationwide. So, but that is something that, that any, you know, ideas like what you just said is what we're wanting to hear from, from this master. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. At that park at Clyteville, we are upgrading that, that playground area. The track is something that has come because there's, I think, quite a bit of the pine tree. The roots are coming in across, so we are looking to, to take care of that need as, as well. Um, as you said, we just finished it, tore down the entire picnic pavilion and added a brand new one with restrooms. Um, so some, and some of that was with the SPLOS monies that it was done, you know, a while back. So we are... Um, doing some of those things, you know, throughout our, and, and for, it's not, to, to me, it's not a county park or a city park. We're an authority. It's an authority park. You know, we, you know, me as, a, as, as the director, you know, when I see, you know, an adult, a child, I don't see city, county. We're all, everybody is the same with us, you know, as far as we're, we're here to service everyone. Um, but that is one thing that we are looking to try to make sure and looking at upgrading all of our existing facilities in the future and also looking at what facilities, new facilities, if we need in the future as well. Um, so. We're also going to try to upgrade the lighting around that track as well. So just to let you know that that's in in process too. So like at Naylor Park, we added a new walking trail and lighting there as well. So we are um, looking to 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 look at all of the parks, whether they're city, county, where, wherever they're at, and looking at you know. Great question. Um, right now, we're in the process of firming up dates, but we will have it on our website. We will send it to the city, you know, to the local municipality, the county website, wherever we need to do to link it. We'll have some advertisements in the newspaper as well because we, we want to market this as, as being very important. We may get, you know, do some radio slots as well, but we want to, um, you know, get that, that word out. Also in the local communities, you know, there's, you know, we're going to try to do an email campaign as well to try to get that out. But I can tell you we will have it in the papers and the press, and we'll, there will be some, um, hopefully, um, press coverage on what we're trying to do, where we're trying to go. Um, because really what we're looking at is the history. Where have we been for years ago, where we're at today, and where are we going not five years from now, but 30 years from now, even after I'm gone. 
you know, after some of us are out. You know, we, that's why when we look at planning properly for parks and recreation services quality, we need to look way beyond. And, you know, in a parks and recreation master plan, I mean, you may have all kinds of different, um, you know, thoughts out there and costs, but, you know, you, you need to at least get it down. You need to get, get a roadmap on where we want to go. And, and at the end, you know, what we're looking at, it's, as I said earlier, it's not where I want to go or staff. Yes, we're part of that process, but the, the folks that are going to drive this master plan and where we're going in the future are you the residents of Lowndes County and surrounding areas? That I mean, that's it. It's not about us. And and um, so the, I'm telling you, there's some just great times, exciting times here in Lowndes County. Um, you know, from the county to the city to the authority, I will tell you, we have been very frugal in trying to you know stay within our budget and stay, have we have a, a good fund balance and trying to make sure that you know for rainy day and looking at um, trying to get you know. If there's an emergency project or something of that sort, but um, we have a great relationship with the county commissioners. We also have one with all the city councilmen. You know, I want to continue to strengthen those relationships, not just with the county, the city, but other municipalities here in the county or towns in the county as well. Yes, ma'am. You, yeah, if you'll just come in, and we have we have right now at our offices, we have right now the where you can come and rent a facility. I will tell you, one of our goals and objectives this this upcoming year is to improve our website. Is to improve. <laughs> Thank you. So um, that is something that we have um, looked at. Uh, we're working towards that, um, and and looking at possibly in the future with some recreation software and where you maybe can go online and book online and do payments online and, and try it because see right now we, we don't have that 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 access but many local governments they, they are going to that 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 where you can you know do some some work online so we are trying to um, continue to make it easier for you to to use our facilities or, or things of that sort but having Yes, ma'am. Right. That's something that we will have to look at because sometimes trying to go out in an, in this calendar year in September and then looking at the following calendar year it can present some problems, but that is something we'll definitely look at it's something that um, I know with some of our our athletic facility rentals we may say okay that we're getting to we we're not to that yet we don't have a policy yet on how we're doing it but we may say starting December the 15th we're going to start taking all reservations for the calendar year 2012 so some of those things that you know and the, as they say the early bird as my grandfather says the early bird gets the worm so so that might be something that we're looking at doing in the future Okay. Yes, ma'am. That's something that I will tell you at the senior center, you go by there pretty much any time during the day, it is packed. Parking, they're parking over. Yes, ma'am. And we are, I think, the latest count is close to 1,400 memberships there. Um, so that is something that um, we are going to be looking at for the future. Again, um, that's something that will have to be, will be addressed at the Parks and Recreation Master Planning process. Um, I'm sorry, what was that? Okay. 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 
Well, that's news to me about the folding chair, so I'll have to find out tomorrow. Um, okay. Well, what we will do is look at that. Is how many chairs do you say we need over there? Okay. Well, I'll talk with, um, look into that tomorrow, and we'll see from, from that standpoint. But, yes, you're right. Adding chairs that are not, that need to be, better in our chairs is something that, yes, it's not a master plan issue. If it's a safety issue, that's something we need to look at immediately. We will.